is up, Trainters? Ludo here, back with another fabulous episode of Pokemon Go. And that's right, I found my fan. It's still broken, but I found it. Oh, grrr. And what perfect timing, because today a brand new event was announced for Melton. Well, kind of like an event. They had an in-game announcement that uh, because of the Let's Go Pikachu and EV games for uh, Nintendo Switch that they were going to be having from the 16th to the 27th, I believe it was, uh, all the information's right here, special Melton research in the special research task area. So super exciting. We all were pretty sure we had to uh, transfer a Pokemon to Let's Go in order to get the box to get Melton's. So now that's scratched. We have new uh, Melton tasks zero, one, and two, and three. And very strange. It was all errored out. Every single person got the same exact error. Uh, everybody was confused, but at the same time, everybody knew exactly what it was. So in the end, it's a brand new special research task for Melton. You have to spin five stops, catch 10 Pokemon, and then transfer five Pokemon. So it uh, should be easily, easily obtainable, at least for this first step. Uh, not too sure how many steps there are for this yet, but uh, as we go on, we will discover. A lot of people have literally already obtained their Meltons and have put them in gyms. We are aware that they can be put in gyms. That is pretty big news since they are mythicals. So uh, maybe Niantic's gonna be changing some stuff up. But Meltons are out there. Get started on your task. Uh, we do uh, have some things that we could go and do. I do have eggs that need to be hatched. That could be uh, any of the shiny babies or a shiny Ella kid from a 2K. Or even uh, I do have one uh, uh, 5K hatched or hatching and that could be a uh, shiny Badoo as well. So I'm gonna walk to the park back there real quick, uh, spend the stop in the gym consecutively for about like 10 minutes and then uh, walk back. Those eggs should be hatched by then. And uh, yeah, last but not least, Shiny Magnemite. Shiny Magnemite is in the game. Magnemite is like one of my OG original favorites because he was just so cute. And I loved the episode where uh, Magnemite falls in love with Pikachu. I just thought it was so stinking cute. So I'm really excited to get on another hunt for another shiny that I'm most likely not gonna get or it'll run from AR. So stay tuned for that. Gonna be exciting and quite depressing. Anyway, no, for real, I'm super excited for Shiny Magnemite. So let's go and do that. Uh, did discover and remember that I do have a GoPro. So we're gonna be playing with that. The only reason I don't like it is because I hate that fisheye lens. Not when I'm trying to do vlog stuff. So it is there for me to use if I would like to. It will allow me to get back to the recording me and having the phone at the same time. So, but for now, we're just gonna go there, take care of this stuff, and we'll come back. See you in like, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, so it's the next day. Uh, we did end up hatching six eggs. We did get babies, but we did not get any shiny. But we did hatch a 100% Miss Drevis, so that's perfect because uh, Gen 4 evolutions are here, and that could be a 100% Miss Magius, so that's really cool. I was pretty uh, satisfied with that, especially since I think maybe the egg that I had, I had posted on Twitter with uh, Miss Drevis, whose HP hatched uh, like with it low, uh, that, that could have been an egg obtained before the balance, but I was pretty sure that it wasn't. Doesn't matter. Anyways, we also caught a 0% Shepet. Those are more rare than 100% if you don't know. So now I have two, only two, 0% uh, Pokemon. I have a Chinchou and now there's Shepet. And then to top it all off, got another shiny Pikachu. It's just chilling here. I kind of felt it, kind of felt it like Teddy Burr said before, you can kind of feel it. Kind of felt that like I was like this has got to be the Pikachu. This random one it was like way over off to the side. I was like this has got to be the one. I've clicked on so many. Come on, and it was, and it was an eighty percent. So that's probably uh, one of my best shinies, especially one of my best shiny Pikachu so far. So I was excited about that. But with all that, we have uh, completed the step one of our Melton task. So now we are on to step two which uh, is uh, to make 10 great throws, 
And then you need to walk uh, two candy worth with your Betty. So we switch to Magikarp. And then you need to hatch three eggs. So uh, I have uh, four eggs that are very close to hatching. So those will be covered very quickly. Magikarp will be 1km. So that'll be very quick. And then we'll move on to step three, which I already know what it is. So we're going to head downtown. So that way, when we complete those steps, we are down there and uh, able to just kind of uh, complete those pretty quickly there. So we'll see you downtown. Okay, so we are downtown. Uh, it's super pretty and windy. The weather in-game does not reflect this, unfortunately. But we hatched our three eggs. Nothing important at all, unfortunately. Uh, could have had a shiny yellow kid, but we did not. Uh, so we completed that part of the Melton task. So now all we have to do is get our two candies with our Magikarp, which will be super easy. Uh, we'll probably hatch a couple more eggs with that, and then we'll move on to the next step. So we will see you when we've hatched our two eggs and we're moving on to the next step. We have earned our two candies. We have another 2K egg hatching. I also hatched a Togepi out of a 2K, so I'm wondering if uh, 2Ks are now, or 7Ks no longer have the babies in them, I'm wondering. Another Rhyhorn. I got a shiny Rhyhorn in a Pokemon Quest, so that's cool. But that's that. Let us turn on a lucky egg so we can complete these tasks. First shiny check the drowsy. No. Okay, so step two is done. We will claim all those rewards. And then we'll claim the ultimate reward. Move on to step three, which involves catching a ditto. I already know it. I gave Professor Oak a call and pulled he pulled through. He says that the Pokemon is called Melton. I think I didn't read that all the way. Professor Oak got this information through an ancient text found in his archives, which included the appearance of Melton. We already know all this from the professor's episodes. What luck! Did you know that when Professor Oak was my instructor, <laughs> they very well knew they were interrupting. <laughs> What luck, did you know that when the Professor Oak was my instructor, he was my role model, and still is. He and I are have the same opinion, opinion that Melton is a mythical Pokemon, so I think we're on to something. Still, a name alone isn't going to get us very far. Perhaps Ditto will know something we don't. I think if we find Ditto, we'll be able to figure out how they acquired curious transformations, and maybe it will lead us to Melton. I'm in the wrong spot to be recording. Observation will be the best way forward, so let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. Please complete the following task. Catch a ditto, win two gym battles, and battle in two raids. You got it, Professor. We also have a Magnemite to check here. Not a shiny. We also have uh, normal tasks. Uh, it was uh, evolved to Anorith, and it gives you a Scyther, so that also completes our uh, research breakthrough, which will give us our Sinnoh Stone. I don't want to catch a Scyther right now. 
claim the reward so we can get our Death Stardust Sinnoh Stone. So the Friday following this upload, we'll go live and we'll do a little uh, contest of seeing which one I do. See the Shininja CP 149. I'll catch that later. So let us move on to catching a ditto, finding a couple raids, and battling in a couple gyms. Super easy peasy. Let's go. Oh, and I forgot. So the catch ditto, we do have a task that is from the Let's Go stuff. It is make one excellent throw. And that is a guaranteed Pidgey, which is a guaranteed ditto. So we'll take care of that pretty soon. So just wanted to mention that. Okay, we're back home and we completed our catching our ditto, as you guys saw. We did our two raids and we battled in our gym. Super easy peasy to get that stuff done. Uh, made sure we turned on a lucky egg while claiming our rewards for this stuff. And along with that, we move on. And our message here from Professor Willow says, Excellent work, Ludo Clack. The ditto you've helped me analyze indeed has transformed into Melton before. In fact, it was able to use transform and let me analyze Melton up close. The ditto was very helpful, even though it couldn't replicate some of the finer details, it seems the memory of Melton is fading away. But I have good news, I was able to tell Melton has a liquid metal body with a nut-like head and a tail that looks like a power cord. Judging from the appearance, it may be an electric steel type Pokemon. Well, you're wrong on one thing, because we already know. <laughs> In order to make more progress, I think we should study these types of Pokemon. Can you complete the following tasks? Catch five Steel type, catch five Electric type, and earn five candies walking your buddy. So boom, there we have that. That'll give us uh, 2,000 experience for each one, and then 4,000 Stardust at the end. So again, we're gonna make sure we have on a Lucky Egg and a Star Piece when we do that one. But uh, on to catching some electric types and uh, seeing it, that should be really easy because uh, uh, right now Pikachu is spawning a lot and Magnemite is spawning a lot. So that one will get done really quick and the walking I've changed to Magikarp so that gets done really quick and easy as well. So we will see you when we have finished that and we're on step five. So stay tuned for that. That's the end of this one for now. So please scroll down, give me that like, maybe consider subscribing if you're not. And if you are subscribed, be sure to hit the notification button next to the subscription button so that way you're notified of the next adventure. And we'll see you then, Trainters. Stay fabulous. Bye.